Welcome to Wednesday's devotional. Uh, this is the 20th devotional since uh, this whole COVID-19 thing began, which means we're in our seventh week, if I do the math correctly, uh, as I have been doing three devotions per week. Today, I would like to encourage us from one of Paul's prison epistles, specifically his letter to the church at Philippi. You'll find the text beginning in verse 12 of Philippians chapter 1 in the New Testament. If you are like me, seven weeks into this quarantine thing, the single word that comes to my mind is enough. Although that is the one word that comes to my mind, I thought that I might encourage us differently from Paul's challenging vantage point in comparison, comparing our situation to Paul's uh, situation, a prison cell. Here we go uh, in the text, verse 12 of Philippians chapter 1. I want you to know, brothers, that what has happened to me, we could insert in here, what has happened to us in this COVID-19 quarantine has really served to advance the gospel. Think of that. What's happened has served Paul to advance the gospel. So that it has become known throughout the whole imperial guard and to all the rest that my imprisonment is for Christ. And most of the brothers, having become confident in the Lord by my imprisonment, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Some indeed preach Christ from envy and rivalry, but others from goodwill. The latter do it out of love, knowing that I am put here for the defense of the gospel. That's Paul referring to his imprisonment. The former proclaim Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerely, but thinking to afflict me in my imprisonment. What then? Only that in every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is proclaimed. And in that I rejoice. Yes, I rejoice. I know that we are not in prison like Paul, shackled to imperial Roman guards 24-7. That's not my intent with this comparison to Paul and his imprisonment circumstances. My intent is to encourage us to keep on being bold in proclaiming the gospel in the midst of our difficult circumstances. I have heard a number of reports. I rejoice in the number of reports and cannot wait to hear more reports about the boldness of folks getting to the gospel as the gospel is being advanced in the face of the difficulty that we have. In fact, the gospel is being advanced in some cases face to face, or could I say mask to mask, but it's also being advanced digitally as some have taken advantage of using technology for kingdom advance. Might I encourage you to continue to be bold with your witness and testimony about Christ and the hope that you have within you. Just as Paul encouraged the church at Philippi to kingdom advance, as they took the gospel to those around them in the midst of Paul's difficult circumstances, and in the midst of their difficult circumstances by not having their leader with them, so might I encourage you, might I encourage us at Maranatha Bible Chapel to kingdom advance as we offer the gospel to others in the midst of difficult circumstances. Might I encourage you to be sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit and bold in your witness in the middle of such circumstances. Paul was encouraging this fellowship at Philippi in the middle of their difficulty as their leader was in prison to the wonderful opportunity that they had before them for kingdom and advance. May we steward the opportunity that God has placed before us Peace and blessings, Pastor Scott. 
Now, a quick announcement for this Sunday's message. Uh, it is Family Sunday, Communion Sunday, so I will prepare to have communion after the message on Sunday. Might I encourage you again to prepare to have family communion together this Sunday following the message, uh, as we'll still be separate but together online. And uh, might I encourage you to celebrate that communion, uh, looking forward to when we can do it together physically uh, here at Maranatha in our fellowship. Thank you for watching this devotional video. If you would like to see more like it, make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss any. And if you liked the video, uh, go ahead and hit the like button and follow us on Facebook. Peace and blessings, Pastor Scott.